What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, um, this is going to be quite a morbid and gloomy episode of Joe Winko Talk. It's going to be a bit personal, too. But it's just something that i really been wanting to talk about because it was something that really pissed me off and really made me angry. Probably not for the reasons that you guys are probably thinking, but I'm going to be explaining it in this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, as you guys all obviously know, coronavirus is still a really bad issue everywhere. It's still going on in the USA. People are still getting sick every single day. People of all ages are getting sick. People of all ages are dying. And it's still going on and it blows my mind that it's been more than a year since my first episode of Joe Winko talk about coronavirus. I had no idea that more than a year later I'd still be sitting here talking about it and it's really depressing. Luckily, nowadays, however, we have the vaccine out, but they're only giving the vaccine to elderly people and people who work in healthcare settings because they're at highest risk of catching the coronavirus. My opinion on that is coming very soon. Just keep listening. So here in Florida, these two women in their 30s and 40s recently got in trouble because they disguised themselves as old women and they went to a vaccine distribution site or whatever you want to call it to get the vaccine. Luckily, they did get their first dose and I'm actually happy that they got their first dose because they deserve their first dose. However... They couldn't get their second dose because the people giving the vaccine got suspicious and then they found out that they weren't old at all. Because here in the state of Florida, you have to be 65 years old or older to get a coronavirus vaccine right now, even though it kills people of all ages. And I actually have the video of them being caught or busted for it. And I'm going to show it to you guys right now, and I'm going to react to it for you guys right now. And then I'm going to share my opinion on it, and I'm pretty sure you guys can all see where I'm getting at with this. So let me load it up real quick. Okay. Three, two, one, now. You know what you have done? You've stolen a vaccine from somebody that needs it more than you. And now you're not gonna get your second one. So that's a whole waste of time we just wasted here on this. And we're not even sure if they're gonna press charges against you and take you to jail right now. They don't deserve to so be. We're at that point right here. But just for your selfishness of stealing a vaccine. Okay, this is a chest test warning. You're hereby warned. You are not authorized, licensed, or invited to be in these premises and may be arrested if you refuse to leave or return at any time in the future. Are you fucking building, kidding me? Other buildings, it's our, uh, our site. Parking garage, everything. anything, the whole property around here. I'm not allowed to be here no more. It's ridiculous that you're here right now. Doesn't sound ridiculous to me. They're trying not to die. What's wrong with that? With the vaccine software. You're Martha. You're covered. Okay, so as you guys saw in that video, apparently they couldn't get their second shot. They got mad at them because, as I was saying earlier, you have to be elderly over age 65 right now to get the coronavirus vaccine in the state of Florida, even though they're perfectly fine with people 
not even from the state of Florida, flying in here and getting the vaccine, stealing it from the local residents, and you don't see anyone getting mad at them. And then they said, oh, you girls came in and stole a vaccine from someone who needs it more than you. How the fuck are you going to tell these women that? Okay, yeah, these women weren't elderly, and don't get me wrong, I understand that coronavirus kills old people more often than younger people, but it can kill anyone. We had a five-year-old girl who died of coronavirus in Michigan. People of all ages die of coronavirus. And yeah, you can say that young people don't die of coronavirus very often, but one dead young person is bad enough. One example of a young person who passed away from coronavirus that I wanted to bring up in this video was a death that happened pretty recently. This 18-year-old girl living in Illinois, her name was Sarah Cemental, and let me show you a picture of her. Here's a picture of her right here. So she was an 18-year-old girl living in Illinois. She did everything right. She stayed at home. She socially distanced from people. She didn't go out much at all, like me. But she ended up catching the coronavirus in December of 2020. And her parents brought her to the emergency room on December 23rd, 2020. And her mother was even talking about how she was on the phone with them. She was sad because she was in the hospital and she was sad because she was going to miss Christmas and her parents were even telling her, well, it's okay, we'll celebrate Christmas when you come home from the hospital. She never came home from the hospital. She died on December 26th after she was put on a ventilator, she died. And she had no underlying health conditions, and she was only 18 years old. The same age as my niece, and she passed away. And you know, the really messed up part about it, the coronavirus vaccine that was already approved before she died. They were already giving it out before Christmas. But she couldn't get it in time because she was only 18 years old. And it's really not fair, honestly. As I was saying earlier, don't get me wrong, it's important that elderly people get the coronavirus vaccine. But this is honestly something that everyone needs, and there should be a more even distribution of it. And another thing, this virus is mutating. And it's not elderly people who are spreading it. It's normal people, normal everyday people who are spreading it. And you know what will happen if you just focus on the elderly people instead of the younger people? What's going to happen is you're going to vaccinate all the elderly people first. I mean, that's Ron DeSantis' plan in Florida to only have old people vaccinated and to not vaccinate anyone else until all the old people are vaccinated. Okay, so you're going to vaccinate all the old people first. Meanwhile, the virus keeps spreading around the people who actually are spreading it, the younger people. And what's going to end up happening is the virus is going to mutate and then it's going to become resistant to the vaccine. So all those old people that you just vaccinated aren't going to be protected from it because you allowed the virus to mutate so much. And then they're all going to end up dying as well. And then you accomplish nothing, really. And it's just disturbing how people aren't smart enough to understand that at all. So, I don't think these women stole the vaccine. They should have been able to get it. There should be a more even distribution for the coronavirus vaccine. Because anyone at any age can die of it. There's teenagers who died of this. There's children who died of this. I heard of one kid who got his arms and legs amputated 
because of complications from coronavirus. I'm not making that up either. It absolutely happened. I saw it on the news. This virus doesn't just kill old people. And it's just sickening. And I felt I felt sorry for both of those women. I'm glad they got their first vaccine. They should have just let them have the second one, honestly. Because it's the younger people, people my age and people their age, who are spreading it. Don't get me wrong, the elderly people definitely do deserve the vaccine, but so does everyone else. Because anyone of any age can die of this virus. That's honestly not the only thing that I'm pissed off about. So, as you guys all probably know, because I talked about this in my YouTube videos before in my previous episodes of Joe Winko Talk, I actually was in the coronavirus vaccine trials. The reason why I joined the coronavirus vaccine trials is because I have type 1 diabetes. I'm also African American, which puts me at high risk of dying from coronavirus. And you will not believe how many people are too stupid to understand that. For example, my adoptive dad's relatives, who I'm unlucky enough to be living with. So that's why I had to join the coronavirus vaccine trials, because I wanted to get that sh vaccine right away. And I got my first shot on... I have the dates written down. I got my first shot on September 10th, 2020, when I took this picture. And then I got my next shot on October 15th, 2020. So it's been 134 days since I got my last dose of the coronavirus vaccine, apparently. And I still don't know whether I got the vaccine or the placebo. I thought that I did get the real vaccine because I did go in and I got a blood test for antibodies against the coronavirus and both blood tests that I had told me that I had antibodies against the coronavirus. One I got in October and another one I got in December. So I'm, I was pretty certain at first that I got the coronavirus vaccine. I tried calling the damn laboratory where I actually participated in this vaccine trial. They told me that they weren't going to confirm to me whether I got the actual vaccine or the damn placebo until f the state of Florida started giving out the vaccine to 20-year-olds. And I honestly think that is the most fucking stupid thing I have ever heard in my entire damn life. And I'm really pissed off about it. It's so goddamn stupid how this is all being ran. Seriously. In all honesty, the fact that I actually took the experimental vaccine just to test it out so people can actually use it, they should have told me right away whether it was the vaccine or the placebo as soon as they approved it. I don't know why the hell they're waiting on that. I think it's really fucked up that they do placebo trials anyway. I even saw this on the news. This one doctor on the news even said that placebo trials are not ethical. It's like getting in an airplane and throwing someone out of the airplane with a parachute and then throwing another person out of the airplane without a parachute to see if parachutes prevent you from dying. You know how fucking stupid that sounds? It makes just as much sense for them to be doing that with the coronavirus vaccine. And it pisses me off and angers me. Well, overall, I'm glad that those women got their first shot of the coronavirus vaccine. It pisses me off how they said, you stole the vaccine from someone who needs it more than you. You don't fucking know that. These women could have died of coronavirus. So I just really wanted to talk about this in an episode of Joe Winko Talk. It was something that really struck a nerve with me. I'm glad these women got their first dose. 
I really hope they can get their second dose soon, and I definitely feel that they need a more even distribution of the coronavirus vaccine, not just because young people can actually die of it, but because it's the younger people who are actually spreading this virus, and the more they allow it to spread, which they have been doing this whole entire fucking time, the more the virus is going to mutate, and the more the virus mutates, the more resistant it's going to become to the vaccines, and the more likely that it's going to wipe away all the progress we made. I also saw that they're planning on upgrading the vaccine, so it's resistant to the California strain, the New York strain. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a Florida strain. I mean, as stupid as this virus pandemic has been handled in this state. I mean, it even made me want to move away from Florida for a bit. They said that they're updating the vaccine so you can get a booster shot to protect you from the new variants and mutations of the virus. And when I found out about that, I was just like, oh great, another vaccine that I have to wait God knows how long for. How many people are going to be dead before you release that? We're already at half a million right now. You know, it's just really sad, honestly. I don't feel... I don't feel lucky to be living in the USA, really. Because the way they're handling this. But... That's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. Um, let me know what you thought of this episode, if you agree with me or not. Hopefully you guys do, because what I said was absolutely true. And that's basically it. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.